To edit the watch face of your Garmin Tactics or Garmin Phoenix, press and hold the menu button and then select watch face. From here you will navigate with those two buttons up and down to choose the kind of watch face you would like to have. There is many different interface, some can handle more information, some less. So you really pick the one that you like the most. Uh, personally, this is the one I like the most. So I'm going to select this one with that button right here. And then you can customize or apply. Uh, actually, if we go on customize, uh, we can change the layout, which is what we just did or you can uh, set the data. So I'm going to do this, go on data. And as you can see, this one right here is blinking. This means that I am actually modifying this one. If I don't want to change it, I can press the start stop button to pass to the next one. And now, as you can see, this one is blinking. So by doing this, it will pass from one to another and I can modify the one that I want. So I'm going to restart this. I'm going to go in data and you see that one is blinking. So with the up and down button, I can modify the information that uh, will be displayed. So uh, let's review them. Uh, the first one right here is uh, it says Tuesday 29. So it's the day of the week and the day and the day of the month. And then if I go down here, I pass to uh, this one, which show the day of the month and the month. So it's uh, June 29. And then uh, alt, alt is for altitude and 139 is in uh, meter, actually. That will vary if you set it on feet or meter, but this said that I'm 139 meters in altitude. The barometer will show the atmospherical pressure uh, this is the hearth rate. Actually, it's not showing up because it's not on my wrist, but otherwise it would show up uh, your hearth rate uh, all the time. And then bat 9 day, that means it remained 9 days of battery. Then we've got now 25 degrees, which is the actual temperature outside. Then we have the high and low of the day, so it's going to be a high 28 and a low 20. Uh, the number of steps uh, you have done in the day. Then uh, set is the sunset time. So uh, today the sun will set at uh, 2043. Then the number of calorie burns uh, since this morning. Then the number of floors you have climbed. Uh, intensity minute. So this said uh, I have done uh, 114 minutes of intensity minute this week. And then TOD for time of day. So actually it's 1401. Then UTC for universal time clock, which is the uh, universal time clock on uh, the time zone zero. This call is actually not about calories, but about calendar. So this will display your next appointment if your calendar on your phone is synced with your watch. A number of notification there is on my phone. Actually, 32 hours is actually the rest time. When you're done with an activity, your watch will tell you how much time you need to rest uh, to recover from that very activity. And that time will accumulate onto that screen. So actually, I still need 32 hours of rest to recover from my previous activities. Uh, and then the distance uh, travel for today. Or you can also have a blank space. And then we return to the top one. And I want to I want to keep uh, that one, the altitude. When you uh, switch from one to another, you can press the start stop button to go to the next one. Or you can also uh, use the back button to uh, come back to the previous data if you want to come back. And then you can choose the accent color. Uh, this one is uh, white, uh, but you can uh, you see it's, it's just those le little bar that you can uh, switch from a color to another one. And there is also the background color, uh, which can be black or white. 
that's it. Uh, whoops, now I've said, I, I, I've pressed back, but uh, yes, I want to save change or I uh, know it's as you wish. And then you can say done and there is your watch face. As you have seen, uh, the time just switch when you uh, do edit the data fields on your watch face. It will always be on a fixed time. So, this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please smash the like button. If you are planning to buy this watch, you can see my link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help. If you want to see my other tutorial about this watch, you can see my playlist just right here. And you can also find me on my main channel just right there. Thank you for watching. Take care. <laughs> see ya.